Hey guys, this is Ancap24 coming back with the last part of the Cover 4 guide. We're going to start at the Gun Dice Y Flex. And the first play we're going to be looking at is called the PA Drag. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start with it flipped, okay? And let's go call our Cover 4. And we'll go ahead and um, back this up a little bit just so we have all the throws we can make here. And uh, make sure we're good to go. Uh, 40 yards, fine. And let's go ahead and what you do on this play is you take the X receiver, you put him on a streak, take the Y receiver and you motion him to the right. And that's going to free up that Y receiver over the left hand side. You actually want to wait a little bit on the throw until he clears right there on the sideline. All right. The next play we're going to look at is slot outs. And we're going to take advantage of what we like to do against cover four is be able to um, go against a defense that's that's floating backwards and we get to go ahead and, and use your running backs to your advantage. Cover four is is a uh, coverage in which basically everybody backs up. So if we can use a delayed route from the um, running back, you'll be able to get there. So basically what we do is we put the Y on a slant and, and uh, motion them over. And that's going to get your RB open right there and get yourself five to seven yards. Next play we're going to look at is called circle. And... I gave you the same setups for circle, um, there's four of them that I do against cover three and a lot of things what I do, and I want to make sure that you see this, is that it's the same setups for cover three and cover four. And I did that for a particular reason, um, so that way you don't have to worry too much when you go to the line of scrimmage and be able to notice, is it cover three, is it cover four, the same setups work against both and I try to keep those uh, consistent throughout, right? So on the first thing you want to do against cover three and cover four, you put the RB on and out. And what that's going to do is going to free up this uh, outside uh, receiver B with the A route right there. So basically the A occupies that guy, you throw it to there, wide open against cover three and cover four. It's one of those plays that you can kind of go down the field with unless and make your opponent do some adjustments. Next thing you can do is go ahead and put the B on a slant. And what we're going to do is going to get it to the RB receiver as he goes up the field. And everybody backs up. You know, that time he's able to break up tackle, but you're able to get five to seven yards, you know, consistently right there. Next thing you could do is move the Y receiver to the right. And by doing so, um, you're going to free up this cross route to Jones right here, the X receiver. So we're going to go ahead, get our timing here, and then throw it right there to the X receiver. And uh, be able to uh, beat him over the middle. Next thing we can do is we can flip the, the coverage right here. Uh, flip the play and we're going to move this running back right here uh, to the outside and we're going to quick hit him as soon as he breaks up the field and you're going to notice that nobody covers him right away and then we can go ahead and get ourselves 8 to 10 yards alright so that's how you run the circle play next we're going to look at pivot smash and pivot smash is, a, is kind of an annoying play and I'll show you why we use it um, a lot of times on 3rd and 7 I'll do this play and it's one of those things that your opponent doesn't expect you to hit this guy and then get up the field but I'll show you here all right so basically what we do is move this B receiver from right to left and that's it okay we keep that B on the hitch and I've told you before hitches in the slot kill cover four right so what we do is we just let him there he settles down and after he catches the ball he basically gets up field without anybody around him. That time we got about six yards. I usually get a lot more than that. I would say I usually get about ten. Let's go ahead and show it to you again. See if we can make this work a little bit better. And we just let him settle. And then he gets up the field. And now you're at the ten yard mark. Just one of those easy catch and throws. But because of cover four, the way it spreads out, you're able to hit that little soft spot. Next play we're going to look at is the X follow. But we're going to run it flipped. And we're going to take advantage of... Um, the running back out of the backfield, but we're going to use something interesting on this play. Let's find the X follow here. All right. We're going to use the fact that the running back and the tight end collide 
in order to make this work. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take the RB, put him on a streak, and we're going to put the tight end, move him to the left, and put him on a hitch. Okay, so there it is. On this play, the RB and the A hit. We want that to happen because it'll slow up the RB's route and let the Y and the X drive their players downfield and gives a huge hole for the RB to catch the ball once he does it. You do need a little bit of, little bit of protection here, but it does work if you get it. So what we do, we want him to hit that A. When he hits the A, it kind of just goes ahead and lets those DBs just back up. And right there, we're able to get a 25-yard um, throw. Let's go ahead and show it to you again, just so you can see. You know, it is going to happen each time with the A on there. I, was, I told you before the play even started, it was going to happen. But if you go ahead and see it here, let him hit hit that guy. Oh, see, that time I got um, the pressure, which I did tell you before, you do want to have enough protection here. But it's a nice play that if they do a cover for a drop or um, any of those plays where they only put a couple guys coming at you, um, you know, you get the protection here. Oh, what did I do? I threw it to the A instead of the RB. But you'll see that that guy is open. I'll just show it one more time so you can see the consistency of it. Um, that RB is way open for about 25 yards. And we just need to buy ourselves just enough time to throw it right there and get your running back. And you do want that delay. And that's the reason why hitting that guy is by design. That is what I want. Um, and that's why that play works for me. Um, let's get out of the gun dice Y flex and get into the gun empty tray. And what we're going to show you here is the double unders play. And I like this play for a few reasons. You get to run it a couple different ways. So let's go ahead and show it to you here. First thing you want to do is you want to streak your RB. You want to streak your Y. And you want to put your X on a slant. Okay, you're going to run the same, the same uh, set up two different ways. The first way you're going to go ahead and you're going to go and get to the A receiver. The A is the primary receiver. If the A is not open, you're throwing to the B. So that's how you run it either or, but I want to show you to the A first and go from there. So A gets a clean release, throw it flat, and he's able to get that ball and uh, that time he's able to take it a little bit further up field. All right, same exact setup. Um, you go ahead and put the RB in a streak, Y in a streak, X on a slant. And then you go ahead, if the A is manually covered, just go ahead and throw underneath to the B receiver, and he's able to get about seven to nine yards consistently on that. And there's one other way we can do it. We can put the Y on a streak, put the B on a slant, and we're gonna motion um, the B on the slant to the left, okay? What that's gonna do, it's going to kick out and hold those linebackers where they are, allowing the A to go ahead and um, get his post route, okay? So let's go ahead and show it again. Oh, he just got crushed. Let's get the ball off. Nope. All right. My interior line is not great, so sometimes uh, I don't get that that I want. So you move that B over after you slant him. And you take your Y, put him on a streak, and that's going to create a good amount of room for your A. You see it right there to catch that ball a little bit more down the field for about 20 yards. All right, so the next play we're going to run is the wide receiver screen. We've gone over this a few times. Wide receiver screens kill cover four, but we throw it, show it a different way only because of the way we want to create a little bit more room for your um, wide receiver to catch it afterwards. Just put your RB on a fade route. That's going to keep everybody backpedaling and allow your B receiver to be able to get a little bit more space when he catches it initially and get about 8 to 10 yards without being touched and then your user skills will, will jump in there as far as following your blocks. Let's go ahead and show it to you here, wide receiver screen. Everybody stays at bay. And basically, I get to that 10 yard mark without getting touched. So let's go ahead and try it again here. Um, and a lot of times what I'll do is on that B, instead of letting him do his own screen, I'll put the B on a smoke screen. I feel like he catches the ball in motion a little bit better when you change the route. So you go ahead and put it right there. And um, you got to make the one guy miss. For some reason, I'm not doing very well with that. All right, let's try it. 
Alright, so now that's kind of what you're looking for right there. Um, that time we were able just to have one block that we needed. We were able to get the 30 yards down the field. Now, next play we're going to look at is quick slants. And we're going to show a little bit different way to get a slant route from an inside position um, that with the motion kind of uh, gives us a better throw. Alright, so quick slants here. I'm going to go ahead and call the cover four again. So you want to put the A in a slant. And you take the X receiver and you motion him to the right. And you're going to see he's going to stop right here in that little pocket. With those double slants, you're going to have a nice easy throw to the, the X receiver. Because right now it's a lot of commotion. you got two guys driving the guys to the outside. You want to hit it right there. You know, for a nice 8 to 9 yard uh, completion. It's a real, real easy throw um, against uh, cover 4, especially if you're just looking for keep the ball moving when they're using that consistently. Alright, so here we go. Um, the next play we're going to be looking at is the stick and nod. And we're going to use that stick and nod um, route to hit a soft spot in cover four. So what we're going to do is put the RB on an in. And we're going to go ahead and motion the stick and nod to the left. Okay, so the A here to the left. And what he does is once he fakes in, he goes out. He takes enough time on the double move to really have a, a nice, easy catch with not anybody really around him right there for a nice 20 yards it's such a simple move but because it takes a little bit longer it keeps the guys moving backwards the next play we're going to look at is the smash play and we're going to kind of take advantage of that same pocket we just showed you um, on cover four as long as you have somebody that's a little bit slower coming out of the gate um, you'll be able to take advantage of that one spot. So we'll go to smash here, and let's call our cover four. I'm going to run it two different ways. And we'll put the X on a streak, the Y on a flat, and we're going to move this A to the left, okay? What this is going to do is it's going to drive that guy to the left, and you're going to be able to hit that A. Right in that same type pocket, right there. You want to throw it a little bit early, because you don't want that safety to make a play on him. The other way you're going to run it, you're going to put the RB on a streak, put the Y on a streak, and the B on an out, and you're going to motion him left. And what that's going to open up is that post route, okay? And if you look at the post route, that B is going to hold the linebackers, and look how open he gets. You know, that's an easy 15 to 20 yards without anybody around him. All right, so the next in the empty. Um, the Y corner. In this play, we're going to run it two different ways. We're going to run it from right to left and left to right. I'm going to show you why and how these plays work. Um, this is a very situational play. Let's show you the play, the Y corner here. And I'm going to flip it first so you can go right to left, okay? So let's get our, and this is the type of situation we're looking for. We're looking for at the end of a half, at the end of a game, you need a Hail Mary, all right? From right to left, you're only going to get 47 yards. I know it sounds crazy. Why only 47? That's just the way it works for my team, Julio Jones and Matt Ryan. Okay? Maybe you got a better armed quarterback. Maybe you got a faster receiver, better right running, whatever. For me, it's only 47 yards, but you need to know that, right? So I'm going to go against the cover four drop. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is a Hail Mary type situation. I got the ball here at the 47 yard line. I'm going to put the RB on a streak. I'm going to put the X on a comeback, the A on a. On a curl and the Y on a smart route. Okay, That's the setup. It's going to be in your um, play call sheet, so don't worry about memorizing it. Now we're going to take this guy, go from right to left, okay? And he's going to stop right here in the slot. So here's the setup. This is what we're looking for. We're looking to get to the B receiver at the pylon at the end of the game, end of the half, to get a play, okay? So here it is. They're only rushing three, so you should have plenty of time as long as your, your offense holds up. And you're throwing it over the top. And I didn't throw that ball very well. So let's go ahead and try this again. And it's definitely a play that does work. And I want to make sure that you see that it works. Um, is it the most consistent play? Okay, we're talking about a 47-yard play at the end of the half. It's not going to be something that's going to be 100%. But what else do you got to go to, right? You want, you want to be able to try to, to beat this guy deep. So we're going to go ahead here let the B go. And there's the play over the top for the touchdown. Okay? So that's that play. Practice it, practice it, practice it because it does work and it kills them. Now let's go ahead and flip this. 
Now move the ball back a little bit. Say you need 60 yards. Okay. Now, if I was doing this, I would basically I would sub out the left receiver, not put it as um, Roddy White, but for intents and purposes, let's go ahead and just show it this way. And let's do the same exact thing. So Y on a streak, B on a comeback, or B on a um, smart route, A on like this. But the way you want to do this here is you want to roll to the right like it's a Hail Mary to the right hand side and you're gonna have to hit X you know in stride type deal so it doesn't always work I always try to do um, pass protection I like to slide right just to give you some more room but it is a play you know for 60 yards you know why not take a shot at it right so here we go so move it like I gets double teamed moving out to the right moving out to the right now look at that X receiver wide open all right, I only got it to that 59 yard mark, but you know, if you could throw a better pass or you got a more re speedy receiver, you can see what this looks like on cover four drop going for it all at the end of a half. So let's see if I can show it to you one more time for consistency purposes. RB um, is going to be doing a smart route and B is going to be doing this. That's why I like to go ahead and if you saw that time, I didn't motion him, right? I want to make sure you saw that. Um, you don't have to motion him. It works both ways. And that time, do you see how bad I threw that ball? Because I was running backwards. That's the one thing you don't want to do. Now let's go ahead and show it to you um, with the motion now so you can see it. But you can see that guy would have been open, right? So why on a streak? A on a curl, B on a comeback, and then RB on a, on a smart route, right? So here we go. He got contained, he's good. I'm throwing it over the top again. Um, I've got him open, but I'm throwing on the run. This isn't my best, you know. I'm Matt Ryan, right? You're not expecting Matt Ryan to be very agile. But at the same time, um, it does work with anybody as long as you've, you can get around that corner. So let's go ahead and we, you know, I go back a little bit. So you got a double team, go to the right. And you want to be able to settle and throw this ball. Um, should have stopped at the first one and let it, and show you it. basically it works every time. But that's not the case, you know. You know that's not the case. So I don't want to basically um, give you something that doesn't happen. But let's go ahead. Let's flip this play. B on the um, curl, or B on the smart route, that guy there, that guy there. Uh, let's see if we can get the double team. We got the double team, we pancaked them. Now we go to the right here, we stop, we throw the ball, and we just got 60 yards plus, killing your, your defense on the end of the play. Yeah, this play can work in the middle of the field against cover four drop. It can do, you know, they basically. I wouldn't recommend it unless you got three guys going after you because this play could easily get shut down. You could go ahead and call a, um, a corner blitz. You can go call quarterback contain. You can go a lot of different things to make it work. But you can see what the potential is. What do you have to lose 60 yards out of the field at the end of the game, right? Or at the end of the half. But I like to show you little things like that just so you can see there is that, uh, that possibility of some plays that you can draw up to make that happen, right? So let's get out of this. Let's go to the gun empty Bronco and show the remainder of these plays here. And we've got about five or six plays out of the Gun Empty Bronco um, to wrap up the series of the cover four. The first play we're gonna be looking at is the Bronco seams. We're gonna show this two different ways. Let's call our cover four here. The first thing we're gonna do is go put the B on a comeback and you're gonna be the B on a comeback, okay. And then what you're gonna do is put the X on a streak And motion him to the right. All right. And there's two plays you're going to do here. The first one you can do is look at the Y receiver. Um, you could be able to hit him in the inside. I'm just going to show you the dump off route to the, the RB first. And once you clear everybody out, you hit this dump off route. And you're able just to... Um, that's your safety valve, okay? Because the real play that we really want to look at is basically put this guy here, put him on a streak to open up that Y, right? Put the B on a comeback just to get that guy out of the play. Don't even let him play. And then on your A receiver, you want to put him... Um, actually, you don't want to do anything with the A receiver. That's basically it, right? So 
but the play here is to get it to the Y right there as it because he's going to be a delayed route, and you're able to get it to him real quick. If they jump that, you want to go to the RB like I was showing before. Now, the next play you want to do is you want to go ahead and do the Bronco Under. Bronco Under, it's, it's kind of a same type of situation. If you see something, you want to do it. If not, you go to a different replayer, right? So let's go ahead and press the, the, the Bronco Under here. What you want to do is go ahead and call your cover four. So if you look at this, you want to put your X on a streak. Okay, that's it. You got two options. The guy I want to throw against is the cover three and the cover four is the Y receiver. But you can't hit the Y receiver until that DB bumps him. If the DB bumps him, you want to wait a second and then throw it to the D, to the Y. If he doesn't get bumped, you want to throw it to the B receiver. Either or, they're both going to be open as long as they get bumped. But if it doesn't get bumped to the Y, don't throw it to him. So let me show you what I mean. Hit here. It doesn't get bumped. Now you're throwing it underneath. Okay, hopefully your, your running back will catch the ball. Let's try this again. Hopefully they'll, they'll bump so you see what I'm talking about. We'll go ahead here. He doesn't get the bump. You want to throw it to the B receiver. And he just, he has a lot of room to, to run because that guy clears him out. Hopefully I can show it to you one more time with the with the bump just to show it. Um, okay, he doesn't get bumped. Throwing it right here. I'm going to call cover three just so you can show, I can show you the bump a little bit better. Um... And that way you could see if it's a cover three, cover four type combination. But the bump does help the receiver here. Let's go ahead and call this. Let's go the Bronco under. Let's go to dime. So where's our cover three here? All right, we can call the cover three buzz. All right, so we're looking at the Y receiver. Watch him get bumped. Gets bumped. After the bump, you throw it to him, and he's going to be wide open there because after the bump, the guy doesn't cover him. So that's the bump that you're looking for. Um, let me show it to you one more time. If the bump doesn't happen, then you go throw it to the underneath route on cover four, right? So that's the Bronco under. Now, there is another way you can run the Bronco under, and I want to make sure that you see it um, against cover four. And this is the obviously the third option. So you can run this play several times and get some success with it. Um, what you want to do is put the RB on a smart route, okay? So see how he's got a deep hook now? And um, you also want to go ahead and put the A on a flat, get your tight end involved, and put your um, B receiver on a streak. So that's gonna give that ability for that guy to get in that one spot. Now watch, he's gonna get there, he's just gonna settle nobody's there right nice play on third down long third and 12 so let's just show it to you real fast how it would look if we don't teach it that's how it looks on the right hand side and he throws it to that spot now by the time you know it he's 20 yards down the field all right so that's the bronco under and the last play we're going to run in the cover four we're going to end it on a bang we're going to look at the wide receiver screen and we'll show you how we're going to run this. Alright, so this is actually, let's go here to the Y. Um, we're going to change this up. Go to cover four. And you could run this the way I showed it before, put the RB on a um, fade and just run this play before, and you're going to get good success. But what I want to do is I want to put the B um, uh, on a streak and motion him to the left. Alright? And I want to put the Y on a drag. So I've shown in different ways where you can you motion them over and then you use that same guy to be the screen. This time I'm not going to use that same guy. I'm going to make him do a streak so they can watch that. We're going to do the Y receiver. So do this, get to the Y receiver. Now he's got his convoy of blockers. And if you can get it right, you can get definitely get a lot of yards on this play. So let's go ahead and show the B on a streak, move him over, Y on a drag. So this is going to go to your slot receiver, your number three receiver on a... Um, screen which is actually a really usually pretty good fast quick um, agile receiver throw it right there and if you can just get one more block or then hold their blocks this can be a big play I want to show it to you here hopefully get on this play here Put the Y on there all right and there we are 
and you can see what type of play we could do on that. And that's going to be more of a middle uh, drag screen. All right. So that is the end of the cover four, guys. I do appreciate you keeping a look at this guide. Hopefully that should help you out with some cover four. Uh, give you, you know, about 122 plays to um, beat the cover four. And um, a lot of those setups also beat cover three. So do yourself a favor. Check out which ones you like. See how it does against cover three and cover four. And can continuously call those plays to be able to not worry too much about what coverage they're in because I gave you the same setups for both and that was by design. So again, thanks guys and Cap24.